Energy Transfer is a leader in the transportation of the oil and gas products that Americans ultimately use in thousands of products every day. Our expertise in building and operating our country's oil and gas pipeline infrastructure runs deep. Pipelines offer a safe, reliable, and environmentally responsible way to transport natural gas, natural gas liquids, crude oil, and refined petroleum products. In this video, we will walk through the typical pipeline construction process. The construction and operation of pipelines is highly regulated at the local, state, and federal levels. As a company, we maintain a commitment to exceed these regulations where possible. Pipeline construction is conducted by highly skilled craftsmen. Prior to starting construction, our advanced team of engineers, geologists, biologists, and wildlife specialists conduct detailed surveys to design the safest pipeline route while minimizing our environmental footprint to the greatest extent possible. From there, our teams of landowner agents begin the process of negotiating with landowners to purchase the necessary easements through which our pipeline will be constructed. And our permitting teams work to secure the necessary construction and environmental approvals and permits. When we are ready to begin construction, crews carefully clear the right-of-way of obstructions such as trees, vegetation, boulders, and stumps. The ground is graded to create a safe, flat working surface for the crew. When grading in cultivated areas, special care is taken to remove, separate, and store topsoil so it can be restored to its original condition once construction is complete. When grading is finished, crews clearly mark the final location of the pipeline where the trench will be dug. Pipe sections are then set in a single line along the right-of-way in a step known as stringing. At this stage, some pipe sections may go through a process called bending, so they can safely follow any elevation changes or turns in the terrain. With the pipe sections now in their final shape and location, crews begin the welding process. Non-destructive testing methods inspect 100% of the welds to ensure the integrity of the pipeline, which far exceeds regulatory requirements. The welds, like the pipes themselves, are specially coated to prevent corrosion. Depending on terrain and soil conditions, track-mounted or wheel-based excavation equipment is used to dig the trench in which the pipeline will be laid. The trench is deep enough so the top of the pipe will be at least three feet below the surface, deeper in some areas. Any topsoil still present during excavation is once again separated and saved for reuse. Before setting the welded pipe inside the trench, the corrosion-resistant coating is re-inspected. With the trench bottom prepped for installation, the pipe is lowered into place alongside a cathodic protection system as survey crews record its exact GPS positioning. The trench is backfilled with the previously removed subsoil followed by the topsoil. Cathodic protection systems involve the use of an electrical current to further help to prevent corrosion and to prevent the pipe from reacting to other elements in the environment. Prior to putting the pipeline into service, additional tests are conducted to ensure the pipeline's integrity. A hydrostatic pressure test is used to check the structural integrity of both the pipe and the welds. The test, which uses water, is performed at 125% of the pipeline's maximum operating pressure over a period that exceeds regulatory standards. Additionally, an internal line inspection tool ensures the pipeline's integrity. Following the successful completion of the testing measures, the right-of-way is restored to its pre-construction condition and the area is reseeded or repopulated with native plants and grasses. Agriculture and farming activities may also resume on the land once restoration has been completed. With the pipeline now in service, future disruption to the surrounding area is kept to a minimum as the pipeline's right-of-way blends into its surroundings. To maintain the ongoing integrity of the pipeline, the right-of-way is inspected a minimum of twice a month by air and or on foot, and often more frequently if location and weather permit. It is all part of Energy Transfer's commitment to safely serving our customers, our communities, and the world we share by protecting the land, the water, and those who live and work in the areas through which we pass.